and welcome back to this let's play of World's End Club. In the last episode we realised that the weird cult is trying to kill everyone and half of our friends are a bit brainwashed. Isn't that great? So we're trying to find a mushroom that will cure the brainwashing I guess. Uh, however we've just we just finished the last episode with a big the big squirrely blue dog thingy trying to kill us so let's let's see if we could do it i've already fa failed twice as you've seen in the last episode so i don't know if i could do it this time do you have to do it every time it doesn't seem like we're making anywhere making any distance can you like simple Oh no, that's, that can't be good. There you go. Okay. Oh, I didn't first try. First try. You can't tell me I didn't. <laughs> I guess it can't come in here. It's coming in here. Outside. Just leave. We definitely can't turn back now. Let's just go further then. Yeah. You never when in know. doubt. There may be some amid to clear down here. Maybe. You're right. Let's move on. Uh. It's following us from the other side of the wall. Oh. Let's be careful. I probably should have put the bomb down. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna grab me. <laughs> I didn't. I, okay, maybe I should be more smart. I can't help it. I'm not necessarily smart. Get him, bomb. Stupid. Can you like? Okay, no. Oh, silly me! You've got to move the box. Duh. <laughs> okay, I hear everyone going duh and screaming. Okay, good. It wasn't that far then. Thank you. Bum ba bum, bum ba bum. Any time now? Come in. You're not welcome. Breaking property is vandalizing. Dang. It sure is <sighs> persistent. You guys! Look! What? That Doesn't monster, look very well. It looks like something you'd buy at the Guam Toy Center seems tired. Maybe Miss Muro's bomb. The F bomb caused it damage. We might be able to defeat it with one more push. One more push. Okay. Ba -ba -bum. It's cute. Okay, I see. That's clever. He's just wandering off now. It's not he's not gone, he's still there. You two are amazing. You guys are hyper ultra super duper poi poi awesome. Poi poi. It's the mushrooms. How have I just noticed that? There it is. I don't know. 
We found it! I'm sure of it. This is the Amygdaclear. Obtained Amygdaclear. Let's hurry back to the others. Amygdaclear. Okay. Let's get back to the others. I wonder what they found. Were they chased by a big blue dog as well? I wonder what we'll do in the ritual to meet the great Mike. Anyway, it's almost time for our wishes to come true. Almost. I'm gonna be the president of the United States. Well, I mean, can't do a worse job by the last guy who was in there. I'm going to be 100 times taller. I relate. <laughs> when I'm 20, I'm gonna have a shotgun wedding with the pink Electro Ranger. Seems inappropriate. All the air on the planet will become miso flavored. Don't get me wrong, I like a good miso soup, but I don't want the air always to be Just like that. Thinking about it makes me shiver with excitement. Shiver with excitement. <laughs> Now they've got to eat some magic mushrooms first. Oh good. We made it in time. Oh you good. Guys came. Yuki, let's get to it. Give him the thing. Got it! Ta-da! A Mygdeclear Minestrone. Hmm. And a hit of summer aromas. Ooh, sounds nice. Yummy. <laughs> Looks tasty! Yuki made it all by herself in this place's kitchen. With no one to, like, well, I guess they've just blown up all of the followers, so. <laughs> I'm not bragging. It's not like anyone was gonna catch him. When it comes to my cooking skills. This minestrone is definitely hyper, ultra, super duper, poe poe delicious! So, even though she's got amnesia, she still knows how to make soup. You made this for us? Yeah. Yeah. I'm starving. I wonder. I'm hungry. One cup is enough. Let me head back to the kitchen to get some more for you. That's not going to end well. Yuki made it specially for oh, you all. Oh, Yuki. Eat up before it gets cold. Don't mind if I do. Let's dig in. <laughs> yummy, yummy soup time. I just, I just a uh, nice picture of the guillotine. Oh, is it not nice? Hey, what's wrong with you guys? Maybe it was poisons. Oh, Yuki. No, that's not possible. A Mygdeclear should be harmless. Then what's going on? It's just disgusting. Wait, is he dead? Clonesai's dead. No, he's just being dramatic. Oh no, they're all dead. Oh no. Stop messing around. Just because something's disgusting doesn't mean it'll kill you. No, no he's okay. He's hanging on by a thread. Oh gosh. I mean, I know the food tasted horrible, but I never thought it would nearly suck the life from their bodies. Bit dramatic. <laughs> Help. Seriously, what should we do? At this rate, Oh, the life, life drink. Give them the life drink, whatever it's called. Don't. There should be something we can do. I would give him the life drink. We need to help them somehow. Lifeguard? What was it called? That's it! I go hey! Give me a hand here! Have everyone drink this! Called it. What? What's that? It's the perfect energy drink. Lifeguard! It's a carbonated energy drink made with seven vitamins, seven amino acids, honey, and royal jelly. It's delicious. 
I like this game, but it should have like made you choose what to do. Not just. Your mind and body. You should have. Yeah, it should have let you choose what to do. Let you make that decision. Uh, I don't really get it, but if we make everyone drink that, they'll be safe. Yes, I'm the daughter of a genius scientist. Trust. Me. I'm the daughter of a teacher and a builder. Trust me. <laughs> Makes me want bubble tea. No, just something about it. This makes me want bubble tea. Thank goodness. This isn't bubble tea. It seems like they're brainwashed. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to Yuki's cooking. How did it taste? Oh, just excellent. Right, Mochan? Right, Mochan? Uh, yeah. So good. Ah. <laughs> well, in that case. Here's some more. Here, there are seconds. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, um, I just... Uh, we're really full. Oh, <laughs> but I brought more just for everyone. Aww. Well, we best be getting on our way soon. Tip over the pot. <laughs> yeah, we should scram before that long-haired creep shows up again. He's probably gonna show up but again. how do we get out of here? The oh door. God, if we try to escape on foot. But didn't you blow everyone up? Don't worry, I've got an idea. An idea? An idea? We do love good ideas. Wait a second. You mean we're gonna escape by riding the super lame bike? <gasps> that bike isn't lame, it looks cool. No, isn't the time to be complaining about whether it's lame Unfortunately, or not. I don't have that many friends. Hey! Wait! All of you! See? He came while you were all jabbering away. Come on, guys! Get on! <laughs> Let's beat it! I still think they've got the more information. I would have, like, held the master hostage and made him tell us all he knows. And feed him some of the mushroom soup in case he is. Wait! I said wait, you dark brats! <laughs> what kind of idiot waits on being told to? Someone who respects the rules. What do you think you'll do if you even get away? There's nowhere for you to return to. Tokyo doesn't even exist anymore! The drama is real in this game. Everyone's so dramatic. So dramatic. At least the bike is easier than walking. It's <laughs> Vanilla's not even ped pedaling and Chuko can't even reach the the pedals. That doesn't seem fair to me. I would have like stuck sticks to her legs so that she could at least help. Not fair. Is this just like a musical interlude? Well, not really. <laughs> yeah, woo! Fun <laughs> musical interlude. I assume that's the end of that chapter. Yeah. Where are we off to next? Actually, a new my geography. Hyogo area, apparently. I don't know Japanese geography. We made it! 
Kobe. Oh, high quality beef. My dream is to have some Kobe beef. What's the deal with you, Kansai and Jenu? You two certainly seem enthusiastic. Of course we are. We're in K O B E. The Chinese characters for Kobe mean God's door. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that. When you hear Kobe, what is the first thing you think of? Beef. Kobe beef? Beef. <laughs> That's all I can think of when I think of Kobe. Mount Roko or Arima Hot Springs? Nah, beef. No, it's hundred percent the beef. <laughs> uh, Kansai said Hanshin Tigers, and Jenu said Hoseki Suka Theater Company. Yeah, that's right. The Hanshin Tigers is my most beloved baseball team. They're from right here in Kobe. <laughs> Same goes for Hoseki Suka. Nope, the Tigers' home city is Nishinomiya. Nah. And Jose Kizuka is literally in Jose Kizuka City. I assume so. They're all from the neighborhood. <laughs> okay then, let's go. What? Right now? Right now. Don't be crazy. Crazy. He spent the whole day biking and walking to get this far. The bike got a flat tire on the way here. Should have come with supplies. I'm so tired, I can't walk anymore. You went walking anyway. Hmm. Let's camp here today. Let's camp here today. I'm down for that. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. But we're out of food. We need to get canned food and stuff like that. There was a supermarket on our way here. Maybe if we go there... Maybe you should have stopped there before you went further yeah. on. Let's head there and have a look. <laughs> Nyoro, what's the matter? Everyone left already. Well, um... What is that? This scrap of paper I've been holding all this time. It's like my good luck charm. What is it? XXY? It says XXY? I remembered when I heard what Jinu said earlier. She said that Kobe means God's door, right? Uh, I don't get it. What do you mean? My father went missing when I was eight. And right before that, he called me into his lab. More story. Listen to me. Don't ever tell anyone about this paper I'm giving you. Well, she's now just told people about the paper. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. The letters. If something happens to me, use those numbers and open God's door. Open God's Don't door. Don't worry. You can do it. As long as you don't give up. <laughs> and this is what he gave me. I had no idea what he meant at the time. What is this God's door? What does that just gave me this scrap of paper and disappeared? I slipped, sorry. You don't know where he is? Maybe he's in God's door. No. The only hint I have is this paper and these three letters written on it. But I won't ever give up. I swear I'll solve this mystery. I swear. Because if you never give up, you can overcome any obstacles. That's not necessarily true. <laughs> and that's coming for me who's an optimist. Off to the camp. I don't know whether to make this a short episode, like talk to the camp and then end. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if anything's interesting. Anaki, what do you have to say for yourself? Remember 
When we were escaping on the bike yesterday. That was yesterday. You sang that song, right? Yeah, nerds. The Go Getters Club anthem. Nerds. <laughs> Geeks. Even if the world ends, the Go Getters Club will stay together. Right? Right. I remember us singing it a lot back in the day. Back in the when day. She was still with us. Who? Have I forgotten someone? Who's she? Okay. I, I, who she? Have I. Was that meant to be like vague or have I forgotten I someone? Rachel? Thanks for yesterday. We were all brainwashed and you saved us. Yeah. I've been talking to someone and they're doing this all the time. I mean, we were this close to being oh, she sacrificed. Stopped. No matter how many times I thank you, it's not enough. No. Oh, that's, they make a cute couple. Thank everyone else. I ship them. I didn't do a damn thing. I totally ship them. Besides, my plan was to just leave you guys behind. It's obvious, isn't it? We head back to Tokyo. So you were just going to abandon the others? <laughs> what do you expect? Exactly. Sure, I was just going to give up on you all. That's the kind of guy I am. It's not. I think that's another reason I don't like him, is he's so fake. He's like, that's not the type of guy you are. You would never have left your friends. You care about your friends, even if you don't like to say so. But you, that was you before you knew about the sacrifice, right? No. Because <laughs> I, ah, sacrifice him, it's fine. You were doing it for all of us, weren't you, Aniki? <laughs> I mean, I don't think I can walk anymore. Just let the complainers get some rest. <laughs> and get those who can still walk to Tokyo as quick as possible. Then you just come back and pick us up later. Yeah. That's what you were really thinking. Wasn't it? Yeah. That's what I do. If they don't want to come, they don't want to come. Oh. And Jenu told me, as soon as you found out about the sacrifice, you started hunting for mushrooms like crazy. <laughs> he cares. So, just... Thanks for everything. Cute. Huh. <laughs> before Kobe is all about the Hanshin Tigers it's all about beef to be exact it's in Nishinomiya that's where the Tigers home field is located for baseball fans like me that's a holy place oh gosh. so as soon as you get some rest that's where we're headed what come this far and not go to the field are you nuts? Oh, that guy, just to make him happy. I'd be like ordering a takoyaki and leaving the octopus out. Well, it depends. Do you just like fried, deep fried batter with some like sauce on top? The tigers are in a slump. Although, right to now. be honest, yes, the in octopus fact, is the best. It's the worst slump in their history. Why do I keep thinking about food? <laughs> but the tigers and that baseball field are where my soul lives. Huh? It'd be better to not go. No, I'd go. No. Uh -huh. Good point. No one wants to see a ruined holy place. People see that all the time. There's lots of like, like holy places that are basically just ruins that people go and see. It could just be like a brick in the ground, and like that was a holy place, and we're all gonna flock to that. Oh well. <sighs> Let's forget about it this time. This time. Oh. Yuki. I like You're her. You're lucky the amygdaclear was so close. Amygdaclear is a very rare mushroom. How do you know you've got amnesia? Not only does it help the brain recover lost function, but it's also known for being delicious. Not according to everyone else. Supposedly, they were so overpicked 
that there are barely any left. So not only is it a medicine, but it's a much sought after ingredient. Why doesn't she try it then? I know everyone loved the dish I made the other day, but it's all thanks to the ingredients. It couldn't help but be delicious. Then what did she put in it then? Next time, I won't rely on the ingredient. I'll use my cooking skills. Or is that the reason it's so bad? Because she's lost her memory, that's why she's not good at cooking. Yuki's food was the she's standing right there. I, I feel like I've still got that horrible taste in my mouth. It's like my whole body wants to puke to get it out of there. You. Just remembering it is making me... I thought I could eat anything. Except for tonkotsu ramen, that is. But now that's number one on my list of the world's grossest foods. I think that's really harsh. Eat it all die. No harsh. <sighs> Yum. Delicious. Life guard is so awesome. I feel it surging through my tired body. I'm rejuvenated. Product placement. If only it was so real. It's the perfect drink for us right now. The crisp sweetness combined with the mild tingle of the soda. Tingle? I could... Sorry, I skipped that again. Right. Tatsun, what do you want? All right. When we were brainwashed, we heard the others talking. They what did they the say? Sacrifice would be on Shoto Island in the Seto Inland Sea. Good to know. Shoto Island. That place is used lots in movies and TV shows. Mm. That's right. The Electro Ranger shot a show on Shoto Island once. Oh man, I wanted to make a pilgrimage there. Now I'm kind of bummed. Bummed. Okay. Jenny, what's up? Another earthquake. <laughs> Tsunami next. Y yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. It just stirred up some bad memories. I think it was 1990. That's when all these earthquakes started happening. After that, every country in the world started having giant earthquakes. Of course, lots of people died. Morbid. One of them was my sister. Even worse. She died in an earthquake in Kyoto. If only she hadn't gone to Kyoto. If I'd stopped her from going, she'd still be alive. Yeah. These things happen. Oh, more, more from Jenny. Like I told you earlier, Kobe is all about the Hosekizuka Theater Group. They're technically from Hosekizuka, but Kobe is where their main theater is. <laughs> and it's also where the Hosekizuka Musical School is. It's for training future members. So it's truly a holy place for Hosekizuka fans. Holy. So after we rest tonight, let's all go together. Well... That's what I want to say, but I guess we shouldn't. Well, if you can't go to the, um, the baseball place, you can't go to that either. With the way things are, I don't want to see the place in ruins. And besides, I don't have the right. I swore I wouldn't go there until I pass music school. Too late now. There is My no music school. Sister. Bochi! X, X, Y. Huh. Hmm. The code that Nero's dad gave to her. On this paper are numbers. Numbers you need to open God's door. God's door? If something happens to me, use those numbers and open God's door. Okie dokies. Numbers, numbers, huh. In Roman numerals, X is 10. But I don't know what Y could mean. 
I guess this paper isn't enough to figure it out. Clearly. We need to find some kind of hint. Obviously. You go. Those cold creeps. Mankind is extinct. What a lie! Mankind can't just go extinct like that! Yeah, it can. <sighs> I mean, it makes me furious. Also, it's not extinct if you guys situation. are still alive, so, you know, it's just endangered, I guess. No, I don't believe it! I know Wiped out. Dad are still alive. Probably not. I just know it! Oh, sad though. to Kobe, so Osaka is just right around the corner. I told you, didn't I? There's something important I need to do in Osaka. There's something I I'm need curious. to know. And I think someone in Osaka can tell me. Someone? By the way, don't even ask what it is. It's a girl's secret. I don't care anymore. Okay, I do care. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I do care. Huh? But are there even any people in Osaka? Probably not. Uh, sure, of course there are people. Well, you didn't think there would be people in that little, weird little cult in there, were? The one that taught me the importance of never giving up was my dad. No matter how bad things got, I never gave up. My dad never gave up either, no matter what the obstacles were. He always overcame them. That's why he made it so far in his research. And it's always been the kind of research to help mankind. He's got to be like some link when to I this up, whole disaster thing, I wanna right? Be just like my dad. I want to be a great researcher, just like him. No. So, I was thinking about the powers I've got now. That F bomb. I just thought of the idea and was able to make it so fast. It didn't even feel like it was me doing it. The speed of my thinking, the sensitivity of my touch, mm. it felt almost superhuman. So it must be like the superpower that Rachel has. Aren't you talking to Rachel? Was it something we are born with? <laughs> even though it's creepy, I'm kind of happy about it too. I felt like I got a little closer to my dad. The genius. Daddy issues. Is that everyone? Have we spoken to everyone? I'm just glad we all made it safe here. They're just gonna say like random phrases. Okie dokies, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end this episode here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment about what you would do in Kobe. Something like that, I guess. And I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.